the hero narcissist or the narcissist with a hero complex. So what you might notice is it looks like they care or that they have empathy or that they have concern for a situation and then they jump in and save the day or they are the hero of the group or anything like that. But really, all signs point back to the heroic act itself, not to the person that they saved or the person that they're caring for. It all points back to the narcissist. And then what happens when this hero altruistic narcissist gets caught when their mask slips, when you see the truth of who they are, and then what really happens when you try to leave them. They may be a savior in a group or a family or with you. They may be a good guy. They may be a problem solver. They do things like kindness bully, which is they're bullying you through kindness. By doing that, they're using guilt and shame and fear to manipulate you. For example, they may say things like, this is for your well-being. I'm only concerned about your well-being and then do something that is completely not what you wanted, not what is asked for or something that goes against you in some way, but they are looking like a hero, if that makes sense. They may say things like, this is for the child's best interest if you're parallel parenting with them. And you can see perfectly clear it serves no one but the narcissistic person and the whatever they're trying to do. It doesn't serve the child. But they say these things to act very heroic and very important and very like they're always considering others. They're trying to look considerate. They're trying to look like the most considerate person in the room. So they'll push their help upon you. They will push themselves into your life through helping you. You might find these people in organizations like charitable organizations and churches and cults even in healthcare, in any position or any job or any social group that there is a need for help, a need for helping others. Now, a lot of the people there, of course, are helping others because they want to, because they're giving, because they're kind. But when a narcissist slips in, you see, you have to remember, they do all of these things. They need to be all of these things. They need to be seen as the savior, seen as the heroic one, the problem solver, the fixer, and all of that to satisfy their own need for looking that way so that the delusion of who they present themselves as is who they believe they are and the rest of the world believes they are. But behind closed doors or in intimate situations or in situations where the mask falls off, they're the narcissist that everyone knows. And the thing is they need you to be a victim. They need you to be the victim to their savior. They need you to be in peril. They need you to be have problems to fix. And as soon as you stop having problems, they will drop you like a hot potato or they will smear you or they will bring you down and create a problem so that they can then fix it so that they can be the hero and the savior. They create a lot of the situations around them so that they can save the day. I have been in situations where someone will what we would call stir the pot in order for them to get the attention when they come in and fix it. And as soon as that person was removed from the group, guess what? The pot stopped being stirred. So it was very clearly them creating the problems in the group and then making it seem like they're the ones that had the answers. All right. When they're doing this, when they are the hero so much of their life and when they are to everyone around them, Mr. or Miss nice person, right? Then when they do something projecting, gaslighting, you know, whatever it is they're doing to be manipulative and to hurt others, it's justified in their minds or throughout or the words they use to speak back and gaslight you with. They can justify it because you see they I've always been there for you. When have I ever done anything to hurt anyone? Look at what a good person I am. So I must have had a very good reason for what I did. They can justify it. I am Lisa Colucci. If you need any help or anything, check out the main comments of every video. I have a whole lot of info there of how to reach me. If you need coaching or group coaching, it's all listed there. A hero narcissist will act like they know what's best for others, meaning what gives the best supply back to them when others do it, right? Um, they will persuade people to believe that they need fixing. 
if you're with them long enough, you most likely, like I, I have talked to a lot of people who have been with a communal hero, altruistic narcissist, and they have very difficult time telling if this person is toxic because so much of the time the person was this heroic person. The thing is that the other side of them was so malicious and so hateful and so unkind and so hurtful, but it came out in flashes or it would come out in a way that looked like it was the other person's fault. They would twist truths. They would give half truths. They would gaslight. They would project. They would go out and do something, hide and sneak. And then when they get caught, they would lie about it. So these things would be going on and the person would be confused because they could slap the mask right back on, go out into the world and be this amazing person again. And everyone else would only see the mask that the narcissist wanted them to see. The thing is that they're layering the truth with distortions and then projecting. They're layering the truth of what happened in a situation with distortions that make it look like they're the one that is the reason all the great things happen. They set the narrative in any situation so that you believe what will follow is what the narrative says. So if they say something like, oh yeah, I'm, I'll always be there. I'll always have your back. You know, you know that. And then 10 minutes later, they're completely ignoring when something's happening and you're in pain or whatever. And you can see that there is no empathy in them. It's super confusing because you're like, wait, they're highly empathic and they have my back and they're here for me and then they're not doing it, but it's in flashes, right? And so you miss the obvious red flags. And then what happens when this hero altruistic narcissist gets caught, when their mask slips, when you see the truth of who they are, and then what really happens when you try to leave them. So what happens is they play the victim. They play the victim and they will smear you faster than any other narcissist preemptively to make sure that their standing of being this hero stays in place with everyone else. They tend to collect people around them that supports their belief that they are this hero, this belief they have, this delusion of themselves as the hero. They tend to collect people around them. And so what they do is they go out and they smear you to all those people before you even have a chance to know if you're trying to fix things, going to leave, whatever it is, as soon as they get a whiff of it, they're out there smearing you. In fact, they probably already smeared you before just to kind of set the narrative that you might not be stable just in case something happens. Should you ever open your mouth and say they're not who they claim to be? And one more type of hero narcissist that I want to mention, and that is the one that steals valor. They steal other people's heroic acts or heroic positions or positions of power or positions of um, like, for instance, they may claim to be an elite police officer or in an elite part of the military or something like that, where they had a very specific, very heroic type of job or a job that was very important or took a lot to get there. And, the, and they may talk about all the lives they've saved and they may talk about and it's all made up. They're stealing it from other people's stories, something they saw on television, whatever it is, they're stealing it, pretending it's them, and they literally live a life of lies. I have heard about this more times than I can tell you. So here's the thing. You combine all of this with your typical and what we understand about narcissism and about how narcissists manipulate. And what you have is a very confusing situation. You have mostly covert, but it doesn't have to be a covert narcissist hiding behind this mask of what you would want in this world, right? Somebody that's out there helping people. And in fact, they may even be helping people. They may have jobs or they may be the type that stops and helps someone who's in danger or who's in trouble. They may actually do the things. So they may actually, you may witness them doing the things. Okay. But underneath it they're not doing it for the other person that they're trying to help they're doing it to satisfy their own ego to give them self-supply from the world around them and you think okay so what 
So what? So at least they're helping people, right? Yes, that's partly true. And also, if you try to live with them, you know the truth. You know that they gaslight you. They hurt you. They manipulate you. They lie to you. They often cheat on you. It's all the same as all the rest of the types of narcissists we talk about, only it's hidden behind this good guy gal mask, right? What do you do? How do you know what's what? How do you see it up from down? How can you tell if this is toxic? You have to trust your gut. You have to trust your experience and what you're seeing. You have to watch the patterns and hopefully talk to someone so that you can make some sense of it for yourself to know whether or not this is a situation you want to live in and someone you want to continue dealing with. You guys hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.